Okay, what's up, y'all? It's Elijah Boy, and I'm angry. I'm frustrated. What is going on? This year just started. I was looking forward to a lot of things. I was actually looking forward to Suicide Squad. You know, they had the whole kill the Justice League. We all saw that scene where Batman and is killed by Harley in the most weakest, most disrespectful way. Wasted potential. It's, they kill the Justice League instead of, you know, going to the guy who brain controlled them in the first place. But whatever. We, we're not going to get into that game. It's bad enough. It's Sting. His final match is going to be wasted. By them facing the Young Bucks. And I thought to myself, hey, at least WWE is going to have Cody face Roman at WrestleMania 40. Where he could finally finish his story. Gotcha! It is not gonna freaking happen! Oh my god! What is going on around here? It is a madhouse! The Rock shows up! We all love The Rock! I have no beef with The, with the Rock! I wanted to see Rock versus Roman Reigns, but newsflash, it doesn't need to be now! It doesn't need to be WrestleMania 40! If that is the route they're going, I thought maybe they were going to have The Rock take on Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber, right? Which is what I was hoping for. And then Co and then Roman would beat The Rock and then Cody would beat Roman at WrestleMania. That's what I that's what I wanted to see. This is what I was praying to see. But but last night on SmackDown, Cody says he's coming for Roman, but not at WrestleMania. Make it make sense. It doesn't make any sense. I know most people be like, wait, let them cook. No, 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 no. The, the cooking's done now. It's it's overdone. It's bad enough. We lose poor CM Punk to an injury at the worst possible time. <laughs> Punk and Rollins, Roman and, and Cody, that would have made WrestleMania mwah, chef's kiss. One was out of their control. The other is in their control. And the fact that it's just, it's just you, you know, I just don't understand why they would do this. And, you know, that poor, that crowd was so blinded by the fact they got to see The Rock. They were chanting, this is awesome. This is awesome. Because as soon as Cody said not at WrestleMania, y'all saw my reaction. Y'all saw how I felt. I was like, what? Little Jean was like, what? And Austin was like, what? And it just, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this man won a Royal Rumble, y'all. Two Royal Rumbles back to back. So you're telling me what? Cody's going to face Rollins instead? What? Dude, I love the Bloodline storyline. Don't get it twisted. Ever since they've been together, it's been hit after hit after hit. Because I thought, okay, they've had this going for what, three, three to four years now? It's time to wrap it up. Get out while the getting's good. But no. They just, 
I thought Vince was in charge for a split second again. Like, what the freak is going on around here? This is so stupid. And I hope that I'm just overreacting. Maybe things are going to change over time because we still got time for WrestleMania. But if they're really going to have The Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania 40 this year, what is the point of doing it now? It didn't that match is so big it doesn't even need the title. They could have had Rock versus Roman down the road. Maybe it's I don't know, SummerSlam, WrestleMania 41 even. Rock's in great shape. Get one less hoorah and then you know. Oh, I'm so disappointed, bro. There's just so many things not going right. It's like, dude. How hard is it to give the people what they want? How hard is it? What is the issue here? Look at you look at Cody's face when he shook the rocks in. I would kill to know what he whispered in his ear, man. It's it. And it and it sucks, man. It it is like horrible. And I'm, bro, I'm really hoping that we're, uh, that it's just overreacting on my part. I hope like maybe it'll get fixed in a couple weeks or something like that. But in, until then, only time will tell. I mean, last year people were angry that Roman beat Cody to begin with. And people was like, oh, Cody's gonna, he's gonna fall to the wayside. The crowd is gonna stop caring about him. If anything, they loved him more. He ended up being just fine. People still love Cody. They lose their minds. And it's not just because of the, whoa, no. People actually believe in Cody. His, you know, the story. You know, he's the son of the legendary Death the Rose, baby. Making movies and major motion pictures. <laughs> you know, a man who know a thing or two about hard times, baby. You know what I'm saying? If this ain't hard times, I don't know what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like I said, bro, like, yes, Rock versus Roman, that is a huge match. We all want to see it, but not at the expense of Cody. Because even when the Rumble was happening, the live stream before it got muted, basically, I was stating in the stream that I was conflicted because I really wanted Cody to finish the story. I wanted Cody to win. Just a tiny bit more than I wanted Punk to win. And it's just, it, we've come so far to the point where it's like, I get it. The bloodline is, people say it's the best thing WWE got going. But now they have multiple good things going. I mean, the rise of L.A. Knight. Yeah. The return of Randy Orton. Uh, Seth freaking Rollins. Uh, killing it as the World Heavyweight Champion. It, 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 and Cody and... Main event, Jey Uso. They got so many things going for him. Rhea Ripley. It's just to name a, f a few. Everything, it hits different. It hits different. They they got, like, literally, you couldn't have asked for a better time to be a WWE fan than right now at this point. Post Attitude Era and all that. And I just don't know what they're doing doing right now like i said i hope this is just an overreaction and that that they're gonna fix it somehow because look triple h he he has earned our trust for the past couple years the shows make more sense it's more logical you know it's more emphasis on giving people opportunities and every everything just connects overall better and I, I hope Triple H still has that philosophy, and which I'm sure he has. Hopefully he fixes this. Because I remember back in the golden era of NXT, the original NXT, you know, with the Baron Corbin, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, Shinsuke Nakamura time. The fans always got what they want in NXT. So I hope Triple H takes these... Online, well, granted, online reactions. We'll see how the crowd is when they, when we get there. But I think he he has to know deep down Cody's the guy. You know what I mean? To take the title off Roman. It has to be. Hopefully, this is just a speed bump 
in finishing the story. So that's all I got to say, man. I had to get that off my chest. But um, let me know what y'all think. Um, is, is it going to get fixed? Do you Are you okay with Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania 40? Or, you know, you rather see that than Cody versus Roman? Let me know in the comments down below. Am I overreacting or is everyone else overreacting? What are your thoughts? Or do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead. But with that being said, please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this very angry yet probably depressing video I've ever made. <laughs> My birthday's tomorrow. Oh, I gotta be in a better mood. I'm deb I'll see what happens. I know I said I was gonna stream NXT Vengeance Day tomorrow. I might still do that. Um, I will let y'all know. Like I said, I got other things planned on my birthday, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. But with that being said, and if I can't stream it, then I'll do a review right after it ends, if I'm if I'm here watching it. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, follow me on Twitter or X, whatever it's called, at ElijahBoyYT. Follow me on Instagram at TakeMyMoneyEB. Link is in the descriptions down below. Y'all have a good day, man. See y'all later.